Hello again. Right, the dragon egg was completed earlier on today, the design. Um, I've got a little bit of time in theory, it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to start throwing together the crown of winter. Um, it is an item I've done previously, but not too well if I'm completely honest. Um, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. Plus, while streaming it, I can do it from the beginning. Um, so you can get, a, get an idea for it as it's going along. Right load up one two three design because I'm still not on blender and let's get up an image of it uh, so it's Rob's crown from a song of ice and fire nine spikes made from old metal hammered into uh, a shape of a long sword there's a specific picture that I'm after going off rather than uh, looking for for whatever source material looks quite cool um, this one is specifically quite cool well so is that but that's beyond me personally right so then that's what I'm looking to make it's a nice easy circlet with nine long swords attached you can see it's slightly concave there and there appears to be probably four of these little grooves and indentations around it as well now what i'll probably do to make it easier to print is split it into four and what i'll probably do to make it easier to uh to design is only end up designing one quarter of it potentially um and then mirroring that and then mirroring that again so then right let's have a look at what we can do I wouldn't mind keeping that on screen. That's good, that's good. Do you know what? I swear I've got that picture downloaded. Okay, right, bear me one moment. Yes, I knew I had that. I wonder where Rob's crown is currently. I mean, I imagine he had it with him at uh, his last wedding. Right, okay, so I don't want that on the screen at the same time because that's taken up way too much space. But let's start with the circlet because that's nice and easy. In theory, I want it about uh, about 20 mil high. And then the width can all be um, tweaked and adjusted later on. So we're dealing with a nice round, round item. So insert a cylinder. We want it... Uh, 20 mil height, so that's going to stay unchanged. Um, the actual size, in theory, doesn't matter too much because we can tweak it around later. But let's go for 50, just because. And what we're going to do is scale that with smart scale, because obviously a head, a crown shape, is uh, not a perfect circle. So about. 200 by about 220 so that's about all oh, you know what let's do 230 by 200 okay 240 by 200 i'm impulsive as you can see my mouse is not very accurate at the best of times i must confess one more mil oh that's two mil come on there we go Right, so we're going to hope that's roughly the right size. Again, that can all be tweaked around later. Now, to get this circular effect from it, the first thing I want to do is create another one, copy and paste it, and then just scale it down a bit. Because if we use the same item to delete it, um, it usually creates a nice, a nice finish. So, what we'll do... You can see that's not quite even. There's lots of space at the top there, very little at the bottom, but that's absolutely fine because we'll use the align tool. Oh, bugger. Like I say, inaccurate mouse. Right. Now what we want to do is that one on the inside there, if I can get to it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, God, it's happening again. There we go. Right, I can move this one down a couple of millimetres without changing the size. Then obviously where this is shrunken a bit, um, it fits perfectly on the inside of it. So what we want to do is just extrude that bit up, it doesn't matter how high, because we're going to use it to delete um, a perfect, uh, perfect parallel copy on the inside from the outside. So let's move that one back up a bit. Nice and easy. And uh, we're going to use the align tool 
which is absolutely essential just in general as well as for this specifically but just in general and you click on the two buttons and it'll align them down that axis and you click on that little button there it'll align them down that axis and I'll do it on the other one as well so you can see what's going to happen obviously if I click the top one um, the topmost edge of each of the items will go up to the top um, middle middle bottom bottom unsurprisingly so now we've clicked that on all of those, we can be pretty sure those are all as central as it, they're, uh, they're going to get. So what we do here is nice and easy. Actually, you know what? This is going to make it a little bit more difficult to, um, to take this concave chunk out if it's already an oval. So, you know, I've gone a bit far ahead of myself, which is fine. You know what? No, no. We'll just we'll just delete everything. We'll, let's start again. That happens more than I'd like to admit. Right. So then, same again. Twenty height, fifty width. Nah, actually, let's make it a hundred, just to be safe. Right. So then, as you see, there's a nice edge on there, a nice flat edge. We want a nice rounded off edge. Now there's a shape in here called the torus. It's not often used, but in this circumstance, as you can see what it is, it's, it's pretty much a perfect uh, perfect item for it. Um, you can play around with a different radius to get it uh, thinner or fatter, um, depending on what you're after it for. And uh, same with this, the, um, the minor radius. Go 20, and you see you can just about see the uh, top of it's um, inclined among its upon itself. And so that should fit quite nicely on there. Where it's not going to snap down, I can just move it in a moment. But let's try 105 because we're going to want that. No, no, definitely 100 and what do we get with five that looks good that looks good but you know what i reckon it could be better so let's try eight oh a little bit big i think a little bit chunky but maybe not maybe not yeah no that is it's all right let's try seven december seven is a number no most pleasing to the gods so I'll just snap that on there, and I'm just going to select that and move it down a few millimeters. No, I'm not. I'm going to use the align tool that I've just shown you to make it mathematically perfect. The less I can rely on um, based on what it looks like, and the more I can rely on based on what the computer tells me is right, the better. Right, so that's both of those selected. We're going to align that up, and... You may be able to guess which one to press, but it's this one here. Do you know what, now looking at it, I think it might need to be smaller than seven. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's see what happens if I shrink it down just a tiny bit. So just to 0 0.99, almost imperceivable, 95, oh, that's way too much. But that's not terrible, actually, I quite like that. But, the apex of the circumference, mm, I don't know if I like that actually. Okay, right, let's try 9.6, or no, uh, yeah. A bit better, 9.7, I think we got that, I think that's a 9.7 job right there. Okay, right, so, one of my favourite uh, tools, as well as circle, um, circular pattern and a line, is subtract, delete things with other things. So... I'm going to hit subtract there, because that's the thing we want to keep. And the, the mesh to delete it with. And we hit enter, and that's what we've got. So as you can see, it's it's almost like an Oreo. A horrendously tasting Oreo. And it's nice and circle, I think. Yeah, it looks like a circle. Um, so I'll now I'll tweak what I did earlier. Although probably not as well. No, I'm going to need to create a new one. A new, a new flat um, dish, because if I try and do it, copy and paste this one, then I'm going to have those indentations, which could look cool. Let's see if there's any way I can justify it. No, that back is pretty much flat. That's a shame. But that's fine, that's fine. Right, so I want that to be 100. 
No, I don't. I want that to be... 90. That means that is 10 mil. How far in does that go? Oh, no, that's, that's a bit too close. Or is it? I'm going to need to uh, do what I always do. Copy that, paste that. When something dangerous is coming up, we have a backup clause. I wish I deleted that other bit, but that's absolutely fine. Nope, it was... That 92. 92 is a good number. Right? People like that number, right? Yeah, of course they do. You know, I still don't know if that's going to be too deep. I think that's going to be too deep, you know. It's alright, we can scale it down a bit. Uh, 0.5. What did... What? what 0 0.95. <laughs> I don't know if that's okay or not. It's a bit difficult to tell. Unless, right, let's just leave it like that for now. What we'll do is extrude a big long bit and then uh, put it into it and see if I can see any of the overlap from there. No, none of that. None of that. Oh, I did it wrong again. You can tell there's not a massive amount of space on the end there. But you know what? I don't think it'll need a lot of space, if I'm honest. So let's give it a go. Shortcut for subtraction. That's what we've got. So you can pretty much tell where this where this shape is coming from for the circle at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do next is these little bits here. And then the sword is probably going to take at least twice as long to get designed as this thing is. And I've done this, I've done a sword before. You can go on my Thingiverse and download it for free if you like. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, but I'm going to make it from scratch and hopefully it'll be a, a slightly better one. Um, it will likely differ from the uh, from this one in the the way these taper really, really um, in a really shallow manner is probably going to be a little bit more difficult to print and then sand as something that's a bit more, shall we say, angular. Um, so it'll probably be different in that respect. I'm also going to take this opportunity probably just to have a, a quick cigarette and a bit of my tea and just make sure everything on the stream seems to be running fine. Uh, yep, desktop audio. It's a no sound coming. Turn that up a little bit. That one... And imagine no one's watching at the moment, but that's fine. This is fine. What was what dashboard? Cool, cool. So then, what's going to happen next? is like i say i'm going to make that little bracket thing and the way i'm going to do that is something i really like doing in that i will make half of it and then mirror it again anytime i get the opportunity to just do half the work or quarter of the work and then get it to duplicate itself mirror itself and some such like i do because i like it it's easier so much easier go right back to the edge of the crowd so I might make a small one and then attempt to extrude it back and then delete anything um, that isn't overlapping we'll see we'll see and in theory what I'm going to do is because there are nine nine different swords yep just have to check that because uh, we're supposed to have nine swords um, where I want to do it in a quarter um, I'm going to make 
two crevasses for each sword and one of the little uh, one of the brackets there as well not too sure exactly where is going to be best to put the uh, brackets um, but obviously I'm going to want two swords per quarter and then one place right at the front maybe for a larger sword just to look quite cool right now then it's probably worth me breaking this down sooner rather than later because once I start um, tweaking around with the sizes and such it could begin to look uh, a bit weird if I if I add anything to it and then tweak the sizes no we don't want uniform we want smart scale so again I want roughly 20 24 long why is that going down oh wait yep yeah. I'm looking at the wrong bloody number 24, do you know what, no, that's just exact numbers, thank you please, 24, and 200, that looks alright, I probably re should have researched uh, size first, but that's okay. In fact, I am just going to measure one that I did earlier. Um, and see if there's, it's worth me doing any tweaks, so I'll be back in one moment. Right, update, I think the sizes are actually a little bit too big at the moment, um, which is fine. Nothing's printed, so let's take it down to 22. And 19. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Again, I can always tweak, but the less... The less tweaking I do after the fact, the better the design comes out in theory. So, as I said, what I want to do is break that down to uh, to four. So, first of all, let's get that aligned as well as possible. Stick a cone anywhere. Highlight both of them. And align and a line so as you can see I've, I've lined that up so that the tip of that is mathematically centered with the middle of the uh the design at the moment i could be wrong here but it looks like the grid reference this bit here is going to be the best reference for that and that's absolutely fantastic thank you cone be gone from my life right so what we're going to do here it's the first time i've used it on camera um, but we're going to use a, a system called split solid um, using a sketch we can do a polyline nice and easy we know where the center reference point is might be going a little bit too fast actually because i oh no no for some reason i always have to turn it 90 degrees I'll show you why rather than just do it um, so when you click on split face where are you there you are split solid even you want to click the body to split which is obviously this big ass crown here and then the splitting entity this is usually a sketch or something like this a line is the easiest thing to use and boom that oh I didn't need to flip it Okay, sorry, I thought that the um, it was going to make a flat plane across, but you know what, it's done something that's actually very helpful for us. Um, so that's perfect at the moment. I will need to flip it in a moment anyway, but yep, yeah, right, so we do that, and then what it's done is it's given us two separate solid pieces. 
So let's you see that's that's over there. There's one, two separate pieces, and this what we're gonna do is just flip that 90 degrees now. Not for the reason I mentioned earlier, for a different reason, but still flipping the 90 degrees. And the axis, the central point is obviously where I've moved it further away um, on the x-axis. It's still it's still central for where it needs to be in theory, I think. Hmm. I'm not as confident if it is actually completely central. So let's find out. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm done. Close as that can get. So one, two, three. That's not central, is it? No, that needed to come down a bit, didn't it? Which we can do very easily. Let's zoom in to get it right. That's where I want it. So using the same as before, so obviously we've got two at the moment. If you wanted to split both of them at the same time, you probably could um, quite easily, but for myself, there's, there's probably not a lot of point in that at the moment. So, as you can see, the the simple line has created a plane which will cut it in half there are options to cut uh, like meshes and such as well um but we're only dealing with solids because that's about my skill level so we do that and now we've got one quarter of the crown let's delete all these other bits and let's also make a copy and paste that and just put that somewhere safe you know what i'm like and i'll show you what we're going to do um if you imagine that this is after all the tweaking, so I've got one quarter bit here with a sword indentation here, a sword indentation here, um, and a a little bracket. Um, show you that little bit there. And then what we'll do is we'll click on that, and there's an option somewhere up here to mirror it. Nice and easy. Oh, I've got to put a mirror plane on. One moment. Oh, that's nice and easy as well. We'll just use that one, the lovely handy dandy splicer. Her spline? No, polyline. That's the one. Let's give that, let's back that up a bit so it's got a bit of room. And right, so we're going to mirror that along that. Nice and easy. And then. We move that up a little bit, not that way up, but the Y axis, not the Z. And then rotate that 90 degrees. Lovely. And no, let's not grab both of those yet. And same again. All of them, please. Thank you. And then that's the mirror plane. There we go. So this is how you can get away with designing just one bit and then just duplicating it several times. And then obviously what you'd be able to do, grab both of those, move them down. And for the ease of printing, um, what I did on the previous one is print them off as four separate bits with the intention of gluing them together. You might see from my uh, from the, the profile icon um, picture on, on the likes of Twitch and Twitter and Instagram. Um, that I used blue tack on the most recent one. Um, needs must, I wanted it to look complete even if completely rough and shoddy um, 
but yes, eventually, eventually, in theory, I'll probably cold weld them, which is something quite cool with ABS, um, using a little bit of acetone to, to, to create a really nice finish and a really, really solid stick to it. Um, but that's on the making phase, which I'll have more difficulty with recording as such, so that I'm focusing more on the, the designing phase for now. If you want to see the end products on the making phase, then... Um, in theory, uh, Instagram is going to be the best follow, and I am trying to get around to opening um, an Etsy shop to see if I can supplement my income um, with that, with uh, 3D prints. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get rid of all of those, except for that line, actually. That line served me well. Let's not just delete that. You can go in the graveyard. It sounds horrific, but believe me, it's better than the other option. Right, so then we have this bit here now find out where home is and cool we'll play with that over here and turn our back on the graveyard so then this bracket here it's not the best of pictures um, see it almost looks like a, a beaker um, but much more curved less less uh, less certain and definite angles much more curved um, so what we're going to try and do is make a small one and then extrude the back part back off of it so what do we reckon the height of there is we know it's 20 mil so this area between the two of them let's take a punt or no let's see if we can measure it i know there's a measure tool in here so measure that please A lot of data. No, that's that's not what I want. It's this face here. right it doesn't want to play ball like that but we'll we'll guess work on that bit because uh we know that the overall height is um 20 mil let's call each of those i don't know like four mil three mil so we'll play around with a height of uh we'll play around with 17 mil uh right Length doesn't really matter. Let's go for uh, length does matter if that's the option. Let's go for 20 then. Default, that's fine. Height, we'll go for uh, <coughs> let's go for 18 mil actually. That wasn't height. That was width, which can basically be as long as we want. Fuck it, 17. Right. So let's have a little look at the shape again. Now there's going to be an interesting way we can get that shape, the nice rounded shape off of it. Um, and that's by, use, by basically creating a sphere, putting it onto it, and then deleting it. But... But do you know what? That's that's a little bit too too wide. I think I uh, didn't do a great job of um, taking a guess at the measurements. So let's make that quite thin for now, or like that even. Right. Let's scale this fucker up theory we do want it very big you might be able to see already the bits that aren't highlighted are kind of showing um, <coughs> the same sort of shape that we're looking to get do you know what I think I might have made that too big and that's fine trial and error trial and error but then again there that's the shape 
that's pretty much the shape I'm looking for. Hmm. Oh, no, I was looking at that. That's it, that's the shape I want. So, we shall delete bits of that using that. Lovely, that's good. You see uh, how it's half the shape. I could have um, tried, to, tried to do the other side with uh, another one of those balls and hopefully it lines up. Or I can let the computer do the hard part for me. Stick a line. And exactly the same as I did with the crown, that, and mirror plane. And then if I click on the snap button, they should just jump together because the um, bits that are there are completely identical. Right, and there we have that bracket there. Shame there's no front views because it's hard to tell if um, I've done it a bit too thin there. But you know what? I love it. I love that shape. We're going to combine that together. Before we do that, even though I'm absolutely sure I love that shape and want to keep it and everything forever, blah, 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 we're still going to take a copy and be safe because... Oh, well, I've got them both, but this is before I connect them together. It's just because I snapped them. Um, but they're not, they're not properly grouped at the moment, not properly merged and now they are so that's one item that's what we're going to use to basically put in here might need to shrink it down a bit uh along one axis or the other which we can we can have a little look at now we can go over there actually no we've already got a line over there i'm sorry i can't have two lines in a gra graveyard last time that happened on lion king well on that a bit thinner. Do you know what? That doesn't look like the size I made earlier. It's probably me just being stupid. And this is going to be a nightmare to actually... There we go. 90 by 30... Yep, no, that is right. It's just me being stupid. Ignore me. Do do do. Right now, see, we've got this bit saved in the graveyard in case we need it, and we've got this bit saved in the graveyard in case we need it. So we can basically do whatever we want here. If we do mess it up, well, it happens. You don't learn anything from. Uh, Things going perfectly right, but you do learn from mistakes, so it's always worth it. Just don't put it on a CV. <laughs>
looks good. Not perfect. That looks good. We're close to perfect. Another oh bugger. That looks very good. Okay, right. So that's in place. Is there a gap behind? No, as you can see, that's solid and through. So assuming I'm happy with the positioning, that's gonna that's gonna be where that'll go. Let's have a little look. Right, so we got the bracket. One, two, three, and then another little bracket. So we'll assume it's it is four brackets, one on each. One sword on each side. So uh, on the other side we'd assume the bracket is gonna be here, and we'd assume the bracket is gonna be here, because the bracket is then here. And the bracket is then here. So one each side and a special indentation for the ninth one at the front, which will probably end up being a little bit bigger. But you know what? Maybe I can move that over a little bit. Because <laughs> it's not perfect. As much as I may have just said it was perfect. Right. See, it's sticking out the back as well. That's problematic, but I think relatively easy to get rid of. We'll see. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I might not need to. I at least want that halfway. Yep, that looks good. So there's nothing wrong with the mouse, but I'm, I'm leaning it on the arm of a chair, a cotton chair. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's that's a lot closer than the other one got. Right, let's just check for uh, flaws, faults, or imperfections. Overlaps that perfectly, but the big question, does it come out the other side? Drum roll, no it doesn't. That's fantastic, right. Joe, you know that's pretty much the, the circular part of this done. We'll we'll edit a bit more later on with um, when we've actually got the swords made, um, because we can use a copy of the sword to delete a hole in this, um, and then it makes it a very good fit onto the actual, uh, onto the item. Um, or if you if you lower the the size of the sword down after you've uh, made the impression, then it makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, more sanding ahoy. And this is something that no one ever tells you about getting great results from uh, 3D printing until you're until you're quite far into it. You need to sand, and you need to sand and sand and sand. It's just so much sanding. It's so much sanding. <laughs> right, let's merge these. Click that and that. So then, right. Cool. New piece to add to the graveyard. Right, let's save this. I know I've already got Crown of Winter file, but let's make another. Uh, right, what we're doing? Original, <coughs> one, two, three files. Oh, I haven't got the, f the file, fantastic. Right. Right, so I'm going to use that um, as a point for uh, a little five-minute break. Um, I went to the toilet, grabbed something to uh, 
to eat. Um, next up, the sword. Next up, the sword. Um, really enjoyed doing it last time. We'll see how it goes this time. It might be terrible. It might be great. But regardless, back shortly. Right, and I am back. Let's just check everything on the feed is still going as expected. But it's still live, 45 minutes for that, that's quite good. 
I guess. I wonder what that button does. Should I? No, no, let's not. Let's no, no. My my learning through playing is purely on one, two, three design for now. What else we got? Oh, there's a little thingy. Woo! Something happened. Right. Oh, and I have a viewer. Hello, viewer. Right then. So then, let's have a little look at this and see again. As I've already said, the actual blade part I want to be a little bit different from the from the design. This is a little bit. Again, it tapers a little bit too much. I, I could probably make it quite easy using um, the loft system, which I uh, demonstrated yesterday while doing the dragon's egg. Um, but do I don't think I want to. Because I think slightly straighter designs will have uh, a bit of a better look when printed. But you know what? It doesn't really matter because the handle is going to be the bit that's imbued into uh, this design here. So I can in theory make the handle and then get be happy with that and then make a couple of different blades and then copy and paste it um, and just see what looks looks good, see what I think will print well. Um, just a bit of trial and error, see how that works. So then, let's start, shall we? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Well, obviously a cylinder for the actual handle part. That, that one's, that one's kind of got to happen. Um, it's a bit big, but again, when we play around with scales and stuff like that, it's all absolutely fine. Uh, yep. Right, now it's an important thing to note that it's long swords, not, uh, not a short sword, not an arrow, nothing like that. It's got to um, be viable to be used uh, with a nice big handle. So, maybe you'll like that a little bit more. I'm saying that, I'm projecting from my last print when, when I printed uh, a sword out life size, and you know what, the handle had to be lengthened. But that's okay, that's fine, this is fine. What should we have on the bottom? Could have a circle, put a semi thingy down, the hemisphere. Oh, I love that album. That's such a good album. If you haven't heard Hemispheres, just stop watching me, just type Hemispheres into uh, YouTube. Right, I lost what I was doing. Okay, I could create uh, a sketch polygon, and raise it up, so maybe a hexagon. Maybe a hexagon. So let's give it six sides. That could look quite cool. Seven, it's got to be seven, hasn't it? It's, if ever there's an opportunity to use seven at the moment for this, I've kind of got to do it. Then we extrude, nice and easy. Doesn't matter how big we make it because we can always uh, scale it, change it, tweak it, adjust it. then let's grab all of these sides and create either a rounded or a filleted edge see which works better it's probably going to be the um, sorry rounded and fillet the same thing a chamfered or a filleted edge oh yeah that's that's yeah we're doing that 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 looks cool all the way I like that a little bit but I don't know if I should. No, no, let's let's give it a little bit of a knock in there. Do you know what we could do? We could do that to the same for the other side. I might need a bit more space, so let's let's pull that out a little bit. Make sure it's the right arrow. 
that might be a bit too much but we're going based we're just going based on I at the moment and we'll copy and paste it because I mess up a lot and that's fine right so now same again I wonder if I can just do it from there no I can't that's fair enough so you hold shift while selecting all these others and if you select a bit that you don't want you can just press it again or usually you press control to undo a selection anyway Ooh, I wonder if a rounded edge would look better on the bottom or the top so one of these bits top or bottom is going to be pressed into the handle I was going to have this as the bottom bit because I thought the edges would look cooler but you know what I like the way that's finished I like the bottom on that so what we'll do is align both of these love that align tool uh, that one and that one doesn't look perfect but that's understandable let's try clicking it a few more times does nothing nothing you know what? that looks pretty good actually but is that going to be too big is the is the uh, pommel going to be too large for the handle This is where guesswork isn't great. Don't believe me? Uh right, so oh yes, remember to follow on Instagram because, well, you know, if you like 3D printing, if you're watching this, that's an option. you know it's annoying me now because they don't look quite symmetrical because it's seven so I'm gonna get rid of that and set myself back like five minutes which is fine this is fine uh, it doesn't matter what radius and we want six of those I want a hexagon I know it's not quite uh, seven but it's close enough so then we lift that up yep cool and we select all those edges again. If I was slightly less impulsive, I'd get a lot more done. Damn it. There we go. So one set rounded, one set chamfered. These ones we're going to have rounded because this is going to be the bottom of the pommel. Do I want it completely rounded? Oh, that's not enough space. Doesn't matter. Oh, what went wrong there? Other than everything. You know, actually, no, that is enough space. That is that is good sizing. I like that. Cool. All right, I line them up. Boom, boom, boom. That's better. That actually looks symmetrical now. Up that a little bit. Okay, and before we merge them together, because I'm not 100% on the sizes, copy, paste, send to the graveyard. So yeah, it can be it can get a bit messy, which is why, as you might have seen last time from the Dragon's Egg one, I'll happily um, export a bit out and then deal with it here. Like, at the moment, what I'm probably going to get up to is getting to either design the hilt or the blade in a separate play space, in a separate workspace. Um, and then once that sword is done, I'll either export this to work on this elsewhere, or I'll export the, uh, import the sword back in. You, you've got options.
How do you want that a tiny bit bigger? Yep, I like that. At least I like it for now. That could potentially change. You know what I'm like. Okay, right. Young people are part of the largest generation in history. Two billion strong. You're passionate, connected, informed. And you care deeply about our world. And right now, our world needs action. I may have skipped it, but she's right, you know. Right. So then. I don't want to keep just the... Um, the flat edged surface it doesn't look very good when printed it doesn't look very good in the model um obviously you can't it's very difficult to get something like um a leathery look too easily um but there are workarounds and this is something that blender i believe does very well like there's a button you can press and it just turns the outer layer into fur, a fur type uh, mesh um but we're not on Blender, we're on 123D because that's that's what I can use comfortably for now. For now. So then to roughen up this edge. No, I think I might have made that too big now. No, right. What we're going to do is again, this is going the actual sword itself is only going to be about 100 mil high, something like that in the end result. Um, so these smaller details are about to go on. They're not really picked up too much by the printer. If you if you look really close, you can sort of see the outer elements of it. Um, in fact, to be fair, I think I've got a picture on the Instagram of previous attempts. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm sorry. That one. Yep. Yeah, so this, this is one that I've done previously, as you can see, some of them have come out funny. Um, it doesn't really capture too well in the light, but, but these, this is just a bare bone sort of uh, finish, and it doesn't look very good, these are all the supports there. Um, it doesn't come out in this picture, but in this picture I've actually done uh, a lot of latticing, and it's, it ended up having a really good look. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing here, to be honest, just to sh show you... Uh, what I mean, um, much like the dragon egg, it's it's an over reliance on the circular pattern. So if you did ever want to uh, get drunk while watching this stream, set up a drinking game where you take a shot every time we use a circular pattern, you'll be you'll be hammered. I'm sorry, you you'll just be hammered. But right, so what we're going to do is we want a tiny one of these. I said tiny. I said tiny. Damn it, that's pretty tiny. Is it though? Yes. Um, right, we don't want it that high. That could work, that could work. We'll see, we'll see. We'll play, play around with a few bits and see. I'll make a quick copy because uh, i save making another one later on. From scratch, you know, all of that two button presses there and yeah, we don't need none of that. Right, we'll give the edge a quick fillet just so it's... Oh, don't be that guy. It's okay, there's a cheating way of doing this. If it's too small to do, then we will just scale it up. Scale it up. Scale it up. And then the computer knows how to do the detailing, and then we just scale it back down, as if it never happened. Right, so we're going to give it a bit of an edge like that, and usually if you keep pressing it, it'll click it eventually, and we'll fillet the bottom as well, cool, uh, I did that one earlier, don't you remember? You can see there's different options when you, uh, as I mentioned last time, when you click the sketch, versus if you click the angle, versus if you click the whole solid, where I think this uh, this option comes up down here. Let's just 
bring that in a bit. Lovely. So now we've got the uh, shape that we want. We can scale this back down. Right, lovely. And Control and T is transformed. The most awkward and needed hockey shortcut in the game. So what we're going to do is get that ideally just touching. I think it's touching a little bit too much. We're also going to angle it over a little bit. No, wrong angle. That angle. And just press that. What I want to avoid is it overlapping with the pommel at the bottom. I can move later. Oh, as you see at the bottom there, that's the only bit that's actually penetrating. We need to avoid that. And that looks pretty good, kind of, not brilliant. So you can see if we follow the line down, it's difficult for me to show you with a cursor because obviously it adjusts it, but I'll point at my screen, I'm sure you'll understand. Um, just go straight down there and so the bottom is, is completely uh, completely ajar, completely outside of that which is not something we really want. We want basically it to be quite even, half and half all the way down. Which just requires a little bit more of a tweak. Oh, not too much. Too little, too much. That's fine, that's fine. We just need to be a bit more precise. We're dealing with tolerances um, of half a millimetre but once it's right it's right So here we want minus half a mil, too much. So we want minus quarter of a mil. That looks good actually. It looks quite consistent with how much is in there. I like that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, there's quite a bit showing, but with what I'm going to do, the tops and bottoms shouldn't shouldn't be a drama on there. Um, so then, let's create a circle. You, if you saw it on the dragon's egg, you know exactly what I'm about to do. God, I love a circle pan. Right. This is why I need uh, a new workspace every few minutes. <laughs> Let's save it as well. Let's save it. Let's be prudent and pragmatic. It's one button. Uh, we're doing circle pattern. There you are. Right to you there, sir. Yes, sir. And axis. And what we're going to want to do is overlap is fine. Underlap is not. So 30. Let's see how that looks. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. We're gonna win. Okay, the fact that the top and the bottom of that don't actually look like they've been selected might have something to do with the fact that it's not working. But that's fine, that's fine, this is fine. So, let's pick all of that solid. There we go, the top and the bottoms got attached as well. And the axes, that's looking better already. Let's see how good 30 look. That's good. Look at that. Look at that. Do you know what? We can do more. Let's do 35. No, we can do more. Let's do 38. Fuck it. Let's make it a nice round number. 41. Perfect. 
so there's no gaps and of the size of the sword it's just going to be lots of tiny tiny little um, indentations and inclinations and the bottom of these bits and the very top at the top of the handle um, should be the only bits of these that show and it, it should look quite cool it should look quite cool but again it's not going to be very um, highly detailed now then the merge part And just like the dragon eggs, I think you know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to merge them all together, copy it, raise it up, paste it, copy it, raise it up, paste it, copy it, paste it, blah blah blah. Shit, I've got to raise it up at one point. Oh no! But it's a very simple way you can get a, a nice, a nice look, a nice and appropriate look for what you might be after. Oh, bug up, press the wrong button. That's okay. Copy, paste. Raise it up. So these sorts of bits, it's it's not actually noticeable sort of the overlap for it. If anything it looks a bit more uh, unique with the banding, um, with how you'd expect sort of leather to band around uh, the, the hand grips. Looking good, looking good. You can see we've nearly got the handle bit done. In theory next to the hilt and then the uh, and the blade. Which I don't know what I'm actually going to get to tonight. Um, might be all of it, might, uh, might stop after getting the handle done, who knows. We'll see. I think the handle's going to need to be a bit bigger than that though. Right, so that's that's a nice and detailed handle. Let's give it a quick save. And see if I can use the measurement device. Because I haven't really had much joy using that in a, in a helpful way, really. No, not use circle. Right, so I'm assuming... Oh, no, that's nothing to do with that. Right, just tell me the diameter or the radius, that's me happy. Damn it. And you're playing adverts as well, why are you doing that? Shouldn't be surprised that YouTube has got adverts, really. Right. So by the looks of it, that's that's only eight mil wide. So that's that's a centimeter and a half wide at the moment, which is not very much at all. I mean, obviously, uh, it's it's way bigger than we need. However, in terms of um, the overall ratio, let's try. Ah, uh, good, right. So how big is that? Seventy-one. Right. Sorry, I've got a handle here, and I had a ruler. I did have a ruler, I swear to God. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of some of these, like that can probably go. Chuck that over there. What I wouldn't mind. 
mind doing? Oh, I've got. You know, let's let's get one of them spare. And let's merge these ones up. Right, that's not permeating through there at all, is it? I don't think it is. Nope, nope, that's good, cool. Uh, right, yes, so that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one and that one. Something went wrong. Something went seriously wrong. What 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 happened? Where did it where did it go? Did it turn inside out? It looks like it's turned inside out. Did I subtract something? I mean this is why we keep backups, however. I can also just control and Z. So let's try that again. Let's just pretend that didn't just happen and do that one and 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 right. There we go. So we've got a sword handle. That's cool. Right. <coughs> Hilt next or blade. Hilt or blade. Right, regardless, we're going to need a new uh, play space. Uh, what we doing? That one there. I'm uh, just going to check everything's still online and active as far as I'm aware. Uh, I am still getting... Uh, Getting used to the uh, Twitch interface. Oh, How did you get in the water? Less of that. Right, yep, yeah, still broadcasting. Awesome. Okay, right, so then we want um, a new area. And we're going to look at doing the hilt and the blade. Um... What I'm probably also going to do, actually, is the actual handle, just purely the handle, I'm going to export into a temporary file, um, just for easy access. Well, I didn't actually need to close that down, but that's okay. Did nothing, but it'll probably still. There we go. No, wrong button. Didn't need to reload that. So obviously this is a completely new play space, workspace. So we'll call it a workspace soon. It's not somewhere to play. Honest. Uh, right. So first things first, we'll import the um, the model that I just sent to the temporary file. Um, just so it's there in the background and we can use it to uh, for anything that we, we need to use it for but that can go over there do I want to give that another measure again I'm going to use a measuring system I actually trust and understand Yeah, so that is about an 8 radius. No, not even that. 7 radius. That's thin. That's real thin. Thing is, I can scale it up, or I can use smart scale to just do, say, for example, the X and the Y without Z. That's a possibility, but I can't really conceptualise at the moment the, the, the size difference on this. But that's okay. That's fine. I don't need to. So, a hilt, a hilt, a hilt. Um, 
Okay, right, first of all, let's find out how tall this is, because I don't want to go making it taller than it is wide, maybe I do. Do you know what, that pretty much looks like an equilateral triangle between the two. Hmm. Let's have a look, let's just see what I can do, let's just do something and then adjust. Uh... Length to a one. Let's try 70. No. Let's try 30. That, oh, that's a good start. Width. That's probably what I want to be about 70. Yep, that's good. Height. I don't know. That's where I'm coming unstuck. I think I'm making the blade a bit too big again. Um, sorry, the handle not a very good ratio. What does 10 look like? No, that's way too short. Yeah, I think that's a good option. Hilt done. No, I'm only joking. Right, so what can we do with this? Obviously, when we've just got um, a simple box like that, there's a lot of options. Um, now, the back of it, I want to keep as flat and as simple as possible, with no inclinations and very few grooves or anything like that, so that when I use it to delete a part of the crown, it sits a lot nicer um, in there, and I don't need to use blue tack. Um, furthermore, do you know what? I only want to design half of the hilt and then copy it over because I can be lazy on occasion and that's exactly what the situation here is. So, let's do that. Let's let's chop this in half first of all. Is there any snap to? Nope. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if I can align it with a polyline. That's bad. Can't even colour within the lines. That's marvellous. I don't think I'm going to be able to use a line on this one, unfortunately. We'll see, though. Nah, I can't use it on that. That's fine, that's fine. I'll just use Smart Scale, so it's 45 now. There we go. So this is half of the hilt. This is half of the hilt. Let's have a little look what we're dealing with then. Right, so kind of it's pointed up and there's a point down. Hmm, that should be quite easy to do in theory. We'll see, we'll see. Right, if I use press pull on this angle here, I should be able to rise, raise that up. That's tweak, but that works. Okay, so that looks good so far. I'm happy with that. Uh, so what about the bottom bit? So we're just going to do exactly the same thing with that. We're going to select that edge. We're going to try and select that edge. We're going to press. We're going to tweak. We're going to tweak it down. So the other one went up by uh, by 10 mil. That looks like a much shallower angle than that. So, let's see, actually, before we do that, let's try and move this this edge here out a bit as well, just to make it a little bit sharper. That's looking good. 10 minutes again. Right, I'm loving this so far. This is going well. You see where the shape's coming from on there? The bottom bit should just fall into that category as well. But is there a groove in which the change runs along? No, that is a flat line down, which is pretty much what we've got there. So let's lower this bit down as well. Maybe push it back in towards the uh, where the blade will be, but we'll see, we'll see. Do you 
go, what? That's not bad. There's a rough approximation of the, the, the size of it, or the side of it. That's not bad. But they do come up to a point, don't they? So, let's see what we can do by selecting just that point and just that point. And see, see what happens. No, that wasn't what I wanted at all. Oh no, no, oh god. Cool, yeah, that's good to know, but not what I wanted. Uh, right. I feel I want both of these to come to a point. I can probably fillet the ed um, chamfer the edges, but I don't know if that will give me the result I really want. Not really. Unless... Unless, unless, unless... That's kind of what I want. It does look like they're going to a point there. bring the two bottom corners in a bit more. Nope. Yes. But what's the effect on the rest of it that I can't currently see? Oh, I like that actually. That is quite cool. I do like that. Gives it a bit of a sharper look. Do you know what? I think that's done it actually. I don't want to go overdoing it and doing too much. Because um, I have a tendency of doing that. Is there any other bit? Right, so it's more of a case of the blade going in the middle there. So the plan was obviously to make a mirror copy on the other side and bring it over. But I don't think I don't know if that's gonna be the best plan or whether to make a, a unit in the middle. Something to go in the middle there. You know what that means? Copy paste. Save for later. extrude that a little bit. Nope, 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 didn't need to do that. Nope. I didn't click extrude, did I? I do in terms of that. It's got to be somewhere for the sword to rest in. It can't go halfway up the uh, halfway up the hilt. So do you know what? Maybe I actually need to extrude that a little bit more. That 
to the extrude because that makes a difference. Snap that to that. That totally didn't work. Undo, undo, no, undo. Thank you. Try that again. So if this doesn't work, okay, right. They look the same. It's like a bow tie. <laughs> right. They are actually the same size, it's a bit difficult to see, say by, by eye, but yeah, no, they should be. Right, no any kind of ornaments or anything like that, no jewels or gems or anything. Oh, that looks pretty good, that looks pretty good. I mean, in theory, on something like this, the less detail to some degree, the better. Not completely, but it definitely is uh, an option. Right, let's shrink it down a bit. And there's another one of those, just in case. And another one of these, just in case. Oh, it's half eleven already, Jesus. Right, I would have to set myself a bit of a better limit than I did last night, but I did get a bit carried away. Uh, right, so then, um, a line. <coughs> and then raise them all to the top. Close enough. I should really be taking p some pictures while going along. For the Instagram, of course. Right. Strange, maybe I didn't click the align button on all of them. Before that would have. That ah, looks better. Genuinely don't know if that ratio is good. So now for when you combine, you only need literally a pixel to be um, overlapping and such. Let's check from the bottom as well. Is that straight? Is that side lower down than that side? Do you know 
know what? Nope, I'm just going to have to have a bit of faith that I didn't mess around with that, and that's fine. So yeah, I need to be touching like a pixel here for the um, for it to, to merge. But I like to leave this little gap here so that if, um, say for example, I've screwed up on the size of the... Um, the handle I can I can detach it using that um, thing I showed you earlier with the uh, split solid with a sketch I can then detach it alter it and reattach it um, I hopefully won't need to do that but if I do need to then you'll see what I mean so I'm going to keep that hilt nice and, nice and simple um, it's a lot less complex than my previous one which to be fair I'll quickly load up actually uh, Caps lock is apparently on. Uh, right, what am I doing? So this is the one I've done previously that all went a bit wrong. I used um, balls while going along to indicate where these were going to be. And this is the same basic idea of what I'm going to be doing. Um, you see the hilt was a little bit differently done. A um, bit more detail, a bit more flourish, but ultimately this is this proved problematic while actually attempting to uh, assemble the print because it's there was inclinations and grooves um, in order to take into account. Um, so I mean, this is what I'm going to be doing with the, with the uh, the new model in a moment, um, or when the sword is done. Obviously, the the I just put it next to it. And the normal sort of thing, I subtract that, subtract that, and it left uh, a hole for, for it to go in. So when I print these swords out right normally, I would decrease their size by a very small factor, so it's slightly less sanding. Um, and in theory, they should just fit in. Um, but the ones that I made that were for this size all came out weird. Um, there's some pictures on the Instagram if you want to see. After a certain, after about 10 mil of... Um, of printing they just went weird they just all of them melted and went wrong all at the same point oh it was horrific um so that's what we're going to be doing with this one i just want to show you uh sort of what i did previously and to be fair that's the, the sword as well um i'm probably going to be repeating the way i made the blade because i love the way the actual blades um came out but what I wouldn't mind doing is putting a little line going up there. You see, there's a flat area, but I have actually done it previously. I'll bring it up now, um, where I managed to put a groove going down there for the one that I made of the big sword, uh, that one. So, in theory, did any of the bits will do. This was for a big life-sized one. It printed out quite well, but... Um, had problems as well. So you can see there was a groove running down it, which I'll put a little bit too close to the uh, to the the support hole. Um, but it really looked quite cool. Um, but the fact they were quite imbalanced in different sized holes was an issue on it. Um, so I'm going to try lofting again, um, and hopefully it'll come out a little bit better on that. Hopefully it'll come out a little bit better. But I do need to set a time limit. So it's 20 to 12 at the moment, probably another sort of 10 minutes, maybe 20 at an absolute push, and then that'll be the end of the stream for tonight. So let's see what I can get done in that time. So we're going to basically create a shape um, that I want the saw blade to be, and we're going to make it very, very big, and then shrink it down and play around with the sizes on it. Um, I will also try and put that hole that I mentioned in there sooner rather than later. So, no, I want to do what? You. You there, sir. You need to go. Just, just, just go for now. There we go, right. And you, you can go too. <coughs> again as with anything like this it doesn't matter how big or small you make a lot of them um, as long as you get the ratio right then obviously you can just adjust the size of it from there um, so oh, I'm gonna want a basic blade shape
maybe a slightly sharper blade shape actually because like I say it's the ratio that's important rather than the size I'm using it very size so very large size so that I can get um, a rough estimate of uh, a decent estimate of um, shape and such right now I could either put a sharp indentation like that which would be interesting but I did like the actual rounded effect that was on the previous one so what I'll try doing is putting a spline in I wonder if it's pronounced spleen I've only ever read it, I don't think I've heard it pronounced spline yeah I'm going to stick with that right Right, specify the first point. These can be a little bit tricky at the best of times. So let's try that. I don't know if that's even, you know. Oh. Definitely looks like it's favouring more on the, on the upper side than on the lower side. Um... Maybe, do you know what, there's there's a few other things, 2 point arg, what's that? Right, right, that's interesting, that's interesting, let me play around with that for a couple of minutes. Um, see if there's anything I can do with that. No, that's a spleeno. Okay, yeah, I can definitely do something with that. I can make a perfect semicircle the size I want, in theory. So, two point arc, that one there. No, that went so wrong. That went so wrong. It's going to take a couple of minutes, I think, at least. Well, okay, maybe not a couple of minutes. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, right, let's carry on, let's carry on. We're on a high, we're getting somewhere. So then it's two down. Oh. Uh, well, where's my grid reference? I need, I need my grid back, I need my grid back. Can I have my grid back, please? I wonder if I can actually mirror this. If I can mirror this, it's a lot easier. No, I can only do that with solids. That's not a problem though. That's not a problem. And let me see if I can show you why without actually having to make another two point thingy. Arc. And they call it an arc. An arc! Right, so then, once that's there, it's further, three, one, two, three, oh, no, yes, good enough. So what will I see there? Right, now I would have expected the the inside of this to have turned to a shade of colour to allow me to um, use it for to extrude so there might be um, a connection that's not done properly 
or maybe I'm misunderstanding how I can utilize the uh, two point arcs. But I'm just going to take a very quick look at all the connections and see if I can see anything fundamentally out of order. Maybe this have to select them all. There's a clue there, there's a clue there. Look at that again. Click the polyline. So you can see most of that have gone green, but not this bit here. That one's separate, so. I'm just gonna stick a random polyline in there as a reminder. And then I'm going to delete this one and try replacing it. Okay, so why isn't that now? There we go. It's not perfect or wasn't ideal even, but it was what I wanted. So that's 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 basic blade shape. Is it though? How many? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> it's not symmetrical. Let's have a little play. In theory, that's, let's have a little look. That looks kind of blady. That looks kind of blady. In fact, I do rather like that, if I'm honest. I do really like that. But I'm worried that it's not symmetrical. Because that shit keeps me up at night. So then what I'm going to do is polyline. I'm getting this symmetrical one way or another. Polyline and then split face of a solid. Showed you I did that earlier. That one there. And boom. So now we've got a separate one here. That can probably just go somewhere. Just, just go away. And then that can go there. And then we mirror that once again, using that, that's good, and then we do the same thing for the other axes, first of all we flip that 90 degrees, oh I did it bad, I did it wrong, zero, flip that over there, and spin that round, woo! Shouldn't be this excited. So now what we're going to do is take both of those and mirror them both along the mirror plane. And now we're going to join them all together. I 
don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, lovely. And you there, that one, that one, lovely. And now, that one, so that one, this might not work. That's not bad though. Taken way too many steps without. You know, that's fine, that's fine, this is fine. Let's give it a quick save. And let's take them somewhere safe. Oh, it's nearly midnight. One moment. Right. See, they're now all grouped together, which seemingly is a problem because that's not how I snapped it. However, there's an option up here generate separate. It seems that there are very, uh, very obvious separate things. Oh no, it's because of the snap, I think. But let's let's try just combining that and that, and then let's try combining that and that, and then let's try snapping. <coughs> Perfection. Perfection. Now we're gonna gonna combine that and that. Right, so then you can probably already see what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna take this face here. I wonder if I can copy the face. Right, one moment, one moment. Because it could be quite useful for me to have a sketch of this rather than relying on this because I did some editing and tweaking. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a way to project a face. Yeah, let's try, see if that works. Yep, that one there. So does that mean I've now got a sketch of it somewhere? <coughs> no, it does not. That's fine. Right. Now what, do I click on something else? Okay, right, no, that's, that's not what I wanted. I want the sketch here, I want this sketch. Did I get that sketch? Is there a sketch there? It looks like there is. It looks like there is. Let's just try moving this a little bit out of the way. Yes! Right, so now what I can do um, is obviously this, in theory, I can make to any size I want. I can extrude it and it's hilarious. I say hilarious. So that's that's <coughs> a sword blade. Nice, big, thick, heavy. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Look at it. Look at it. Right, and with this... Right, let's undo that for now. No, let's not undo that. Let's lower that one. Down you go. Down you go, good. I wonder if a line works with a sketch. I established earlier it didn't with a poly polyline. But this is fine actually, this is fine. Because if we think back before I made that massive, that was perfectly aligned. So I can move this up. shrink it down a little bit nope just that one please you you there sir you can go no no I was joking Ooh, that was close. right yep so we're just gonna scale that down it doesn't need to be a lot that's problematic okay right let's let's find out why you're doing that nope Why is it selecting both of them? That's fine, that's fine. They can both go, they can both go. And we 
just do it again and get another sketch of that. Yes, thank you, please. And now I can mess around with that. And up. And shrink a little bit. That's the opposite of shrinking. And now I can loft it between this, I think, I might need to set the outer edges, and that, and that's, that's quite cool, but there's something else that's uh, a little bit cooler, and that's the press pull option. It will continue to tweak it without um, distorting or changing any of the numbers. So in theory, oh god, it's all gone wrong already. But they could kind of wrong. No, that's not going right either. Right, let's cancel that. Let's get rid of that as well. But I might need that lined up, so I will just up it. No, that's not up. That's up. So it's out of the way. And now there's a way to, to basically um, get this edge to continue with the angles it's been given. Which might not make a lot of sense, but hopefully... No, that's not good. Do zero on that. No, let's do zero on that. Press pull. I'm pretty sure it was press pull. Yes, it is. See what I mean? It, it continues with the angles it's given. The only thing I don't like is I don't want that... Um that groove to run all the way up. But I can't really think of any way of not, unless I can, I can think of a way, but it's time consuming and I need to sleep. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Well, basically my, my idea to get it done is to, to put a straight line across of the, um, the circular bit on the sketch um, and then then when I'm going to decrease the size loft it to that so first of all I need that copy that paste that I think there's one above me but whatever no that's the whole thing I didn't mean for the whole thing but you know what it's probably best I did I don't know if I'll be able to do this too well, but skip, trim some of the bits here. That can go, that can go. And that can go. And that can go. And that can go. And then, obviously at the top, I just want it to be nice and normal, so a couple of polylines. that one and, and then I should have a closed sketch that when I loft up will get rid of the um, the, the, the little fullers I think they're called or the, the, the holes going up there um, and it should create quite a nice a nice uh, shall we say um, smooth ride up there I'm going to need to do this manually, aren't I? I wonder if I can drag that there and it just snaps onto the centre point. I don't think I'll be quite so lucky though.
Kerma. Right, so let's try and get a top view down. And then let's change it immediately. Yeah, and there's a chance I'm putting too much too much attention to detail on something that's going to be massively miniaturized down but at the same time there are a couple of small mistakes I made with the previous sword that I did and I don't really want to do that again you know it really doesn't need a lot of space there either I don't think right let's give that a little go before I do Look how that looks. How far out? 57, 57. All I've got to do is remember 57. And now press pull on this edge here. Good, good, good. Was almost good. Was almost very good. And then things went wrong. Is that? Oh, that looks so stubby. Oh, it's all going wrong. I mean, that's okay, actually. I can tweak that. I can tweak that. I can tweak it. But should I? It's gone midnight. I'm going to save it. And call that an end to the stream. So, I don't know if there has been anyone watching. If there is, thank you. It's been a pleasure. And I wish you a good night. Um, I imagine tomorrow I'll be... Uh, trying to get into the um the, the the tip of that done oh chris is there and platinum daz is hosting me i don't i don't know what that means but hi and also good night